Well, uh, Dr. Milo, willkommen in Australien. Ah, <laughs> danke schön. <laughs> <Not in Ireland. laughs> um, perhaps I should begin by asking you, what's the purpose of your visit to New Zealand and Australia? Actually, I wanted to have a look at our latest uh, gallery developments. So we opened uh, yesterday a gallery in Auckland, New Zealand, which was very interesting. And the second purpose is we are now opening a new gallery in Perth this week. So uh, I'm going on to Perth and uh, to open up that gallery and of course also have uh, interesting discussions with our dealers. Well, to get down to the nitty gritty, what do you see are the trends in kitchen appliance design today? Mm -hmm. When you look at uh, kitchen appliances, you can see that they are getting more contemporary, um, sleek, minimalistic maybe design, um, controls are hiding and uh, the interesting thing is controls just show up when you operate the appliance. So if you shut them down, everything is very minimalistic, um, almost hidden, you could say, hidden design. Um, but you have to have a handle on an oven, for example. So the handle has to be also minimalistic. It has to fit the design. And uh, this is what I see, especially coming from trends from the Euro Cucina, for example. And uh, they have to fit in the kitchen trends, which is also very minimalistic, I would say, sleek, elegant maybe. Yes, yeah, so, that was my next coming. question. In fact, I wanted to see, okay. ask you what, how you saw kitchen design, where's that going? Mm -hmm. And how does the, the new yeah. kitchen appliance design yeah. fit in? Yes, uh, they do uh, fit in perfectly, I have to say. Colors are getting brighter again. We have seen a number of years with a lot of wood, but now it's getting brighter again. Uh, but again, minimalistic design, uh, a lot of kitchens without handles are now being sold. Uh, this is now coming on very, very strongly. Uh, and we see, this is a trend I don't like, that some of the kitchen uh, uh, cabinet manufacturers uh, hide the appliances. And uh, of course, I would like them to show the appliances so <laughs> that you can see what you have in your kitchen. We did a study, interestingly, in Europe about spending time in the living room and in the kitchen and in fact people are spending much more time in the kitchen than they do in the living room because uh, during the meals of course they are there and they're using the kitchen also for homework for example when the kids come home and so on and there's a lot of communication going on in the kitchen this is why it's the most frequently used uh, space or room inside the house and this makes it um, yeah you have to make it comfortable of course it has to look very nice it has to um, sort of resemble the living room without having the, um, yeah, without the appliances. Uh, so there's a difference between living room, of course, and the kitchen. But if you can make it look very, very nice, you will feel at home. And th these trends that we've been talking about, do you think they vary from one part of the world to another? Um, yes, they do. Uh, they vary a little bit. Uh, first of all, you have a general international trend, which is coming, I would say, more to the European design, Italian design maybe. But in different countries, they're in different stages. Um, I want to give you an example about China, for example. Um, I visited China last year and I saw a project with our appliances. A one with a very, I would even call it Baroque style, with a lot of gold and, uh, yeah, <laughs> very lush and so on. And the other one was very minimalistic, very sleek, elegant European design. And, um, and then I was asking the developer about the design trends. And he said, you know, uh, the Chinese people who have never been abroad, they are more to the Baroque style. Uh, they will choose this one. And the other ones who have been abroad, they will choose the minimalistic style. So you see, if people tend to travel more, they will go more to the international trends, maybe, minimalistic. But uh, if people still stay in their culture and stay in their country, they might have a different um, view on design. And um, you can see that the more people travel, the more it goes into the maybe European, maybe world design, um, which is very sleek and elegant. So at the moment, what would you say is the focus of research and development in Miele? What sort of products can we expect to see in the near future? I think we have two big topics we are now covering. One is the user interface, and the other one is sensor controls. User interface is very, very important, and uh, we do a lot of studies on that. 
And of course, on the other side, you have uh, um, these developments coming on like the iPod and so on. So we are also looking at that and see uh, what's happening. And that coincides a little bit with the sensors. So we are um, introducing more and more sensors in our appliances, whether it's the washing machines or the ovens. So in order that we can sense um, what's really now the state of the meat or um, the washing machine, for example, the wash load, what did you put inside? And then we can help the user and say, okay, maybe you didn't select the right program. What we sense now, this should be like this. And uh, so in order we can uh, yeah, understand what he does and help him without compromising him. Now, in terms of strategy, how do you see Miele fitting in with the Australasian market? Because I think you are now putting quite a bit of emphasis on this part of the world, right? First of all, we have seen that uh, there's a very strong environmental trend here. Mm -hmm. uh, products are going green and uh, we recently introduced a heat pump dryer in Europe and we will now introduce it also in Australia. Uh, the only, as far as I know, the only six star energy rating heat pump dryer or dryer um, we will have on the market here. Uh, so water efficiency and energy efficiency is very important. We will introduce a new range of dishwashers we, with a four and a half star uh, energy rating on that. So we will be the only one who has that on the whole range. And uh, this is a trend which is coming from Europe. You also want to have um, healthy food and you want to preserve the vitamins. And uh, the steamer we have now is coming on very strong in Europe. And we see also this trend for healthy food coming up in Australia. People want to eat food with a lot of vitamins that are preserved during the cooking process. And uh, this is now a trend we see here and uh, there's, a for, uh, there's a demand for that product.